Hello! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now, as you can see from the title, this is going to be a what's in my book bag meets school supply haul meets college supply essentials, I guess. I officially start classes. By the time you're seeing this, I will be starting them in two days. So I'm starting on Monday, August the 24th. But we're going virtual the first two weeks and then we're supposed to be moving on campus. We'll see. I love school supply shopping. I actually didn't buy that many supplies this year. I had a lot from previous years and I just didn't the need to buy a lot more so so this is the third installment of my back to school series before we get into this video make sure you subscribe if you aren't already and give this video a thumbs up if you watched my school supply haul from last year you would have seen this book bag and I spent a lot of money on this so I will be using this for ever and I will like pass it down to my kids or whatever it's the North Face Borealis backpack. It's got the black with the lavender little whatever this is. Black is so universal. Mm. Purple is my favorite color. So I have two side pockets. On the first side, I just have a water bottle because it's important to stay hydrated, especially in the hotter months, which I'm not gonna lie, I kind of bad at. And then on the other side, I have my umbrella strapped in because one thing i don't like about this book bag is that it's easy for stuff to fall out of the side pockets so i just keep my umbrella strapped in so that it doesn't fall on my book bag i have this hand sanitizer that i've actually had since first semester of last year this will definitely come in handy so there's this little hidden pocket right here and inside i keep my airpods or my regular wire headphones because walking to and from classes I like listening to music or if I'm just hanging out in like the cafe or whatever it's just always nice to have headphones on you and I also usually keep my wired ones in here as well because it sucks when these die. Is this empty? I think this is empty but <laughs> you're gonna be like really but I have a little poopery spray it's a before you go spray and just in case if I'm just out and about on campus and I have to go I just spray this in the toilet you know this was actually in here from last year yeah probably gonna have to buy some more of these I have an extra little post-it I have this Bath and Body Works body cream I use it as a hand cream because my hands get dry especially during the winter times and I just hate having dry hands so I always keep some type of moisturizing lotion in my bag and i have some peppermint gum this is my favorite well it's my favorite flavor this has been in here for a while so i don't know if they feel fine you don't want to have stink breath especially where you're wearing your mask you're going to smell your breath all the time last thing in this little pocket is some chap ice see yeah, i just keep some chapstick because i also can't stand having dry lips and I also keep my phone in here like if I'm have, taking a test or anything else where I can't have my phone out and then the next pocket the first thing that we see is my mask when we go back to campus we're going to need to wear these in like cl the classrooms and any building that we're in we don't have to wear them in our room but actually need some more masks I have like three also in here I have a calculator uh, just because I'm gonna be taking math it's actually not a math where i need this advanced calculator but i had this since high school so i just didn't feel the need to buy a new one then i got a whole bunch of pills first up i have some allergy medicine that actually expired does it matter though it expired um in april when i was at school if i felt my throat even getting a little bit in um itchy I popped one of these. I refused to get sick and I still refuse to get sick. And I also keep some ibuprofen, 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 whatever. I keep some of this in my book bag. Typically, like last year, I would oftentimes not be in my room and if I got a headache, I would just want something you know right away instead of having to go all the way across campus to get some medicine. I feel like if you have get headaches often you should carry some medicine around with you and I even have a small little pill container finally onto the actual supplies in the next pocket which is 
the main pocket. This is my pencil pouch. It's actually a makeup bag that I got off of Amazon. I reckon I definitely recommend having a pencil case to carry all of your stuff. I have one pencil because I don't really use pencils, but I also feel like it's important to have them, especially if you're taking a test or in math class. So definitely carry around a pencil. You should probably carry around more than one in case you lose this, but for now this is good for me. Next up I have some colored pens. These are good for your planner or for note taking if you like color coding your notes. But these are the Papermate Joy Gel pens. I really enjoy them. They write smooth and vibrant and I use these to color code my classes and I also have some expo markers that I will show you later that I also use for my whiteboard colored pens it's not essential but it's really nice to have then up I have some highlighters these are just these the Bilo boss highlighters the pastel ones if you need to annotate readings or if you're just reading something and like to highlight you need highlighters like i also have whiteout tape since i write basically everything in pen i don't like scratching out my notes or my pen writing because i just feel like it looks very sloppy and i don't like it so i carry around some whiteout tape mini stapler because it's so unprofessional to turn in papers unstable don't do it i don't even need a big one this is like 50 cents and the last thing in here is a flash drive which is actually really funny because i didn't use this until like the end of last semester i, I put all of my school stuff onto this flash drive because i want to save my schoolwork especially ones for my major classes and also just to back up then i got some black pens i didn't need any um because i have a whole bunch of pens but i saw these and it said new and so i was like i gotta get them so they're the sharpie s gel pens and it just comes with four black pens but especially if you like me and love to write in pen having a lot of black pens is very handy then up i have the seed hard covered ruled book it's basically a journal it was like my college freshman advice video where i mentioned that i will be journaling this year so i'm going to try to write about my day every day just to have memories next up i have some index cards i only got one pack this year because i actually still have two packs from last year but these are nice for studying especially like vocab or just anything like that because i know there's quizlet but sometimes it's nice to have physical hard copies with you then i just got two basic yellow packs of post-its because i have textbooks and although i can write in my textbooks like even the rented ones i just prefer not to i feel like it can get a little messy and i don't like that look all those things i showed you was from walmart and then i got this planner i got it from amazon because i couldn't find a cute one at walmart but i like big planner so i can have enough space to write everything that i need and the cover is super cute but you can see on the side how i cover coded my classes so math is red my edco class is blue my read class is purple and like you can just see here's my planner from last year and i just thought it'd be fun to like show you how i do stuff so like i said i write my classes in the color that i assigned them and anything else in black and when writing down like my assignments i put a box next to them and then put it in like correct color and when i complete the assignment i check out the box so then i have a couple notebooks this is one that i bought this year i don't know why i bought this actually it's just a one subject college ruled notebook it has nice thick paper and then i actually have a couple that i bought last year from target on clearance i bought this spiral notebook and this watercolor looking notebook and i like how the lines are dotted i don't know if y'all can tell but they're dotted lines and i got this composition notebook i also don't know why i got this but it's a five star college ruled notebook but it's like kind of like a binder it has tabs in it that are removable and just you know paper i have all these all these notebooks and i don't know why because 
I have a binder. First semester last year, I was pretty unorganized. Like I had a binder, but I also had carried around notebooks and two different folders and it was it was kind of a mess and so second semester i just decided i only had five classes and i had five tab dividers so it was perfect i had each class was behind a different tab I kept all my syllabi in here and work that i had books if you keep notebooks and folders or a binder all depends on you and where's what works good for you i just have this one inch binder and it worked well for me second semester it increased the amount of stuff that i had to carry another thing that's an essential is a hole punch especially if you have a binder i just have a little portable little hole punch that i love on the ideas of folders i got this expanding file folder from walmart that i will be putting the papers from here into because i kind of don't like throwing stuff out so instead of buying a new binder because this one is in great condition i'm going to be putting the papers into this and this last back pocket it has a laptop sleeve which is very nice and handy i just keep my laptop in it it's just a hp i don't know it's just a hp laptop it does the job the last thing that i bought from walmart was these expo markers because i bought a dry erase board this is the whiteboard that i had from last year it was well loved i wanted a bigger one because this is Quite small so I upgraded to this one it was the only like bigger one that they had when I went and I also have a, a dry erase calendar that I update every month it was in my haul from last year I keep referencing it but if you want to see it uh, I definitely recommend watching it I'll leave it in the card like I said I color code my classes and I also color code them on the whiteboard I erase calendar I will write my math assignments in red if I have any for the month the Edco is blue so I have a blue and then the purple this looks really blue on camera I definitely recommend doing that because I love staying organized and I, I never missed an assignment I never had a late assignment and the last thing but it's also not in here it's a printer it's in the other room um, I had a printer in my room I guess you don't have to have it but it's more convenient especially if you want to print something like last minute late at night you just, oh and of course I have all my little expenses I have all my textbooks that I need and as you can see I rented most of them because I bought this one yeah you obviously need your textbooks that was all for this video I felt like it was very long I love school supplies you know I will be filming a first week of college vlog next week so stay tuned for that and like I said in the beginning subscribe if you are already give this video a thumbs up and comment down on any videos that you would like to see in the future and yeah bye what the world bye